What's up guys, Trilogy here with Trilogy Effect. Today we are doing episode 14. Every year, every week I'm surprised whenever we increase the number, like 14. We've been doing this almost four months. Welcome to Trilogy Talk. This is my weekly news podcast episode where we just talk about news and stuff like that that's come out in the last week. Um, I'm Trilogy with Trilogy Effect. Um, I do a lot of different stuff on my channel, movies, gaming, anime, music, all kinds of stuff. I have curated playlists on my channel. Definitely recommend you should check them out. If you want to support, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. We're still a small, growing channel. If you want to go above and beyond, I do have a Patreon. A lot of these things get demonetized, so I'm not able to make money off of them. So if you want to support the channel, I would really appreciate that. As far as that goes, let's jump into it. Trilogy Talk episode 14. That's not 14. I don't know what number that is. Uh, yeah, it's a seven. So seven times two, boy, that's 14. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we want to talk about is The Walking Dead. Now, The Walking Dead, when it first came out, revolutionary as far as the zombie genre goes. It was like at the height of vampire culture. And vampires, not the height, it was the rear end of vampire culture. Vampire culture was kind of dying down. People were moving away from vampires and werewolves and stuff like that. And boom, here comes The Walking Dead. Revolutionary. It literally had the world in a chokehold for like 10 years. 10 years, The Walking Dead was amazing. And I mean, you could debate the pros and cons of each season, when it went downhill, when it stopped getting good. Me personally, I'm of the opinion that really the walking dead started to lose interest for me is the end of kind of when negan was introduced because the last really big thing i remember is you know when they killed my man you know frick why did i forget his name the asian guy uh I, I, why do i remember abraham's name but not the other the asian guy gwen glenn glenn yeah why did they I don't know, I can't remember his name. Honestly, I haven't watched The Walking Dead in a long time. But every time we lose somebody from season one, it hurts. It's like, ah, oh, dang, Glenn, boy. And the way he died, too. It's just like, man. And I know that's how it was in the um, the comic book. So there was only so much they could do, you know. So they could have changed it. I mean, Carl wasn't supposed to die, and they killed him. So you know what? They could have changed it. They could have changed it. But me personally, I feel like that's kind of when The Walking Dead kind of went downhill. But anyways, the news, um, even though this is technically the final season of The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead is still going to continue in various things. Like, they're supposed to be making Walking Dead movies with Rick in them. Like, if those things are ever going to come out. I heard about those when he first left the show. And I'm just like, we still haven't heard anything about The Walking Dead movies. Um, we still have Fear the Walking Dead going on, I believe. I don't think that's over. And then now, recently announced, we're going to have a spinoff show with Negan and Maggie which, like I said, I kind of stopped watching when Negan came around, so I just don't really have an appeal for Negan, you know what I'm saying? But um, I just don't understand how he went from super crazy bad guy to like he's walking around with the good guys. But then again, I am a fan of Dragon Ball and, you know, Piccolo, Vegeta, all of those bad guys are buddy buddies with the good guys. And you know what? If the good guys forgive them, I guess you should too. <laughs> it's just weird seeing Maggie being buddy buddy with the guy that fuck, that that really went around and pulverized pulverized her husband with a baseball bat. It's just crazy to me, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's cool. I think they're still kind of milking the franchise. With those are probably the most popular characters besides Daryl that are still on there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I have on The Walking Dead. I love the hustle, man. I'd be feeling like one of them ball playing like bird magic or something. But if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man? <laughs>